you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss two power query table function and one of them is table.max. So table.max is going to return as the largest row in the table. So this is how it works. So it takes a table and the comparison criteria basically you can give the column or a condition and then default value. Default value will be coming in case of the table is empty. So max n, we give a table, we say column A, in the column A, from the largest value, uh, 6 is going to give us one row, which is there A. Now, another one, we can give an empty table and then we can ask for it and for, a uh, for it and then because there is no data, we it can return the default value. Now max n, now in case of max n, basically uh, we, we can give a condition and based on that condition we can get multiple rows that's how the max n work so it takes a table uh, you can give a comp comparison criteria and count or condition okay so either we can give a count or we can give a condition so we are giving a column here we are giving a condition here or we can give count so let's try these functions out so let's go to power bi and in power bi we need to go to power query so go to the home tab transform data transform data and you will reach power query now in power query we already have some tables so first of all what we are going to do we are going to use these tables and then do that operation and then later on we will take the data or the source code of these table and try to do that operation and check it out does it make any difference so let's look at this table and for this table let's first try out table dot max so in power query home tab new source blank query and that's where we are going to experiment right now and we will say table max so it has created a new blank query right click advanced editor and then we will say table dot max and then start typing the table name which you want it will suggest it table name with space is always used like you know hash and in the double quotes the table name which is having the, the space so table space one now we say max the only thing we are giving right now it's giving an error because it requires the second argument we need to give the column name and so one of our column name was a so we got the record okay let's go and look at it see the record a is basically coming as max so now let's try based on the b Again, the last row will come here. The last row, basically, this is the maximum row in all the cases. So that's coming. Let's look at table two. Do we have any difference in table two? Let's try out uh, uh, C space D column. OK, so let's go here and let's say, say table two. And let's say what happens when we give C space D. So we got only one row out of those two. The fourth row we got. That's the maximum. Okay, so this way we can, you know, try it out and for the blank code, we can always go ahead and, you know, uh, take the code which is available there and try that out. So let's go ahead and try that what happens if something is blank, then what kind of default value we can get. So let's get this code again, home tab, new source, blank query, right click, advanced editor. And we get the negative value because we are creating a table which is empty and that because of that empty table we are getting uh, no records and for no records we are returning a default value now right click on this one and you can say rename and we can say table max one now let's take the another example table dot max n and try to see what all we can do with that so home tab new source blank query table max n renamed right click advanced editor again first time let's take table dot max n 
now we need to make sure that the function we are writing correctly it's case sensitive now table let's give the table one then column which is basically let's say a or b b was a numerical one so let's give b and then let's right now give two okay so two rows giving it's giving now let's try out a function we say each b i, I can have condition on anything b greater than two why we are getting one row because from the top we will start the descending order and then the condition will apply as soon as this condition fail we will not get any record so let's say if i say two the two is we are already giving greater than three we will not get any record okay so in this manner the conditions would be there okay and even if i say less than three i'll not get it because the first the top row for which the condition has failed so i'm not going to get anything so we say less than equal to three it will work okay so we got max max n now what we can do little bit we can actually bring in a table code basically and then in that table code we can use this table code actually instead of table and we can do few changes and experiment with that so let's have this table code instead of table name and then let's change this value to let's say six let's change this to eight and let's change this to three and let's give us one record of b maximum so now you can see the middle one is coming because we have changed the value let's make it nine now that value is coming so whatever is the row max row that's what's going to come and then based force that the condition which you are given is going to apply so first order by and then the condition will apply so in that manner this function will work so go ahead and try these two functions out table dot max and table dot max and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you